So in this problem, we're told how much work is required to stop an electron mass equals 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kg, which is moving with a speed of 1.4 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. And so in this problem, what we're trying to solve for is work. So uh, in order to solve for this, what you need to know is the work energy theorem, which basically tells us that work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. And so what is kinetic energy? So kinetic energy, or the formula for it at least, is equal to 1 half mv squared. And so if we know work equals the change in kinetic energy, how do we uh, find the change in kinetic energy? So uh, notice that if I write this 1 half mv squared minus 1 half mv initial squared, so this right here is going to be equal to the change in kinetic energy. Because you should notice that the mass is just a constant. And so the only thing changing is the velocity. So if we take the final velocity and minus the initial velocity, right, in this formula, that'll give us the change in kinetic energy. So uh, what is the final and initial velocity? So initially, it's traveling at this speed, right? And then at the end, it's going to be stopped because we're trying to find out how much it takes to stop it. So the final velocity is actually zero. So if this value is actually zero, this whole term goes to zero. So if this whole term is zero, the change in kinetic energy, which is equal to the work, is equal to minus one half mv, or the initial velocity, squared. And so, yeah, so as long as uh, we just plug in the values, we will be able to solve. So minus one half times the mass, which they give us, 9.11, times 10 to the minus 31 uh, and then multiply it by 1.4 times 10 to the 6 squared so let's go ahead and plug this in minus 0.5 times 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 multiplied by 1.4 times 10 to the 6 then we will square that value is going to be equal to minus 8.93 times 10 to the minus 19. And so you need to know that the unit for work, or you should know, is joules. So we measure work in joules. So your answer, or how much work it's going to take, is equal to minus 8.93 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. And so the main takeaway from this problem is the work energy theorem, which is basically tells us the work equals the change in kinetic energy. So if you're ever given mass or velocity, uh, it's probably going to be using kinetic energy, which is what told me we should, uh, which is what I knew we should use that in order to solve for the work. Uh, but yeah, so uh, minus 8.93 times 10 to the minus 19, that's going to be uh, how much work is required to stop an electron. So uh, this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you uh, found this useful.